actually. Um, anyway, so Joe Biden, we all know Joe Biden, old Uncle Joe, Smokey Joe, Smokey Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe Biden, Sleep. I don't know, Bo. I know Hunter. He's a crackhead, Joe. You raised a fail, son. Unlike my sons, I love my sons. They're great. They're not drug addicts. They're amazing. Unlike your kid. Or maybe kids, I should say. One of them maybe died from drugs. You never know, Joe. You never know. This is Joe Biden being really creepy toward a woman again at a rally. Again. Let's watch. The good news is, for me, I'm here. The bad news for you is, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. The, okay, hold up. Let me, this part is really funny. The good news is I'm here. The bad news is I'm coming back? What? The good news is, for me, I'm here. The bad news for you is I'm coming back. I'm coming back. And I want to see these beautiful young ladies. I want to see them dancing when they're four years old or two. <laughs> what? Dancing when they're four years old or two. So it's great to see you. So thank you. I'm so sorry. Um, I got to watch this clip again because it was really bizarre. I don't have commentary yet. Good news is, for me, I'm here. The bad news for you is, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. And I want to see these beautiful young ladies. I want to see them dancing when they're four years old or two. So it's great to see you. So thank you. I want to, like, I, w I really want to cut out the... The good news is, or like, I the first part of this clip, the non-creepy one, right? I want to cut that part out and like have it as a sound drop. Because like, listen to this. It's fucking hilarious. Good news is, for me, I'm here. The bad news for you is, I'm coming back. <laughs> I love these, like, I love these, like, eccentric, bizarre Biden moments, dude. They're so cringy. Like, again... You've got Donald Trump, the ultimate villain, right? And you and you look at the Democratic primary and like, you know, again, the whole primary was Biden versus Bernie and the rest of those candidates were there to just be noise to drown out Bernie's potential rise, right? And they did and they succeeded. And Barack Obama's legacy, right, would be not giving every poor person health care when they had the opportunity and to ensure that a candidate who wanted to give poor people health care could never do that. This is Barack Obama's legacy, is Joe Biden. What a freak show. Seriously, it's bizarre. But again, imagine Pete Buttigieg up here. Like, that would have been, like, whoa, what the? Imagine Kamala Harris up here. Imagine, <gasps> nevertheless, she persisted. Imagine Elizabeth Warren up here. But instead, we've got smoky Joe Biden, less than a month before Election Day, talking about how he wishes 16-year-olds or 14-year-olds will dance when they're older. And saying it's bad news that he's coming back. I don't even know what that means. But again, it's creepy. This guy's off the rails. And yet he's still a better candidate than Donald Trump. And again, imagine. Imagine how bad of a candidate you have to be for Smokey Joe Biden to outrank you. It's bizarre and it's hilarious. Now I want to listen to this again. The good news is, for me, I'm here. The bad news for you is, I'm coming back. <laughs> I'm coming back, and I want to see these beautiful young ladies. I want to see them dancing when they're four years old or two. <laughs> now, like, the thing is, I think what he's talking about is, like, maybe he's going to campaign in Florida in 2024 for re-election. That's not happening. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. That's not happening. Right? That's, no, that's not happening. But, like, again, it's just, oh, it's, it's so fucking cringe. It's so cringe. But this is the world we're in. This is the world we're in. God bless. Barack Obama's legacy is Joe fucking Biden. And also, more importantly, Barack Obama's legacy is Donald fucking Trump. And if Trump manages to steal this election because Biden is too much of a weak candidate, right? Like, say Biden concedes when Trump tries to steal it for the sake of moving por forward. We got to turn the page. Right? That will be Barack Obama's legacy of failure. But Jesus Christ, we got some funny clips. I'll tell you what. Absolutely funny ass clips.